It is a Saturday morning, almost afternoon, um, in April, and I am meeting my friend for brunch up in Wilsonville, which is about 30 minutes or so north of where I live, about 20 minutes south of where she lives, good midpoint area and this is the restaurant where I went for um, my birthday last month as well so back here at Oswego Grill um, we're just meeting up to catch up on things um, chit chat that you know that kind of stuff so um, just the usual hanging out and then um, what else do we have going on this weekend I was hoping to go to the outlet mall but the weather's not exactly too fabulous so we'll see if the weather holds up maybe I will um, decide to, to go shopping but it's an outdoor mall and it's not the most fun to walk around when it's uh, not great weather and yesterday was a really nice day but um, yeah so anywho um, back of the day, I'm rocking my YSL clutch that I purchased, um, I guess, was it Christmas time? I can't even remember how long now I've had it. And I've worn it one other time since I've got it. And now that it's officially spring, it's my, my bag and I'm just, I'm loving it. Um, having the phone in there. So I have a pro iPhone pro max, um, having the phone in there with cards it's it's a tight fit to carry everything I want to carry but um what else do I have in here so I got um my LV Felici insert I've got a lip oil I've got some breath mints um I would not be able to fit in my um key holder with the phone in there so it's kind of one or the other in that aspect but if I don't put my phone in there you could probably get the key holder and maybe another like coin purse or pouch in there as well so um yeah it's it's definitely something for a quick you know going out to eat or you know we like to go to the symphony so a going to the show something like that but I wouldn't um call this a a good um all around bag so it's definitely a you know only out for a couple hours at at most or a quick shop kind of bag but definitely liking it so love it good morning it's it's morning <laughs> it's morning you know i'm noticing the iphone like must have a built-in filter because i look fabulous even though i didn't look this fabulous in the house so I don't know. you look pretty good now i'm not know. i'm looking at you not on it's the like phone. it's a uh, photoshopping my in my blemishes so that look is bad but <laughs> anyway we're making the the privilege the pilgrimage is that the word we're looking for pilgrimages out to to shop and i'm carrying my my massive trevi my weapon of choice because we're going shopping so you never you know gonna, when, are you gonna bludgeon somebody you, know, you never know when you're gonna have to like <laughs> hit somebody and get them out of your way It is our first time bringing all three dogs to the park now. We got Dolly here for the first time. Come on, Dolly. And Bamboo. And there's Pickles being a little spaz. <laughs> There was a concern that Boo might hang close to his sisters, but that doesn't seem to be much of a problem. And Pickles is still being a little spaz here. What's your problem? 
You need to calm down, then mom will take you inside. Hi, Dolly. Bamboo again with a new friend. Nancy forgot the water bottle, so she's going back with pickles to get it. And left Dolly with me. So Dolly's in here with me and Boo and the big dogs. Her tail says that she's not having a good time right now. Dolly. Dolly. There we go. We got all three off the leash now. There's Dolly. Boo's out chasing and Pickles was joining the chase a little bit. Boo's over there. Leave the man alone, Pickles. Hi, go find your brother. Hello, hello, hello. Here we are at my desktop as we've been here before a few different times, but I thought I would take a few minutes because I just got a delivery from this brand, which is um, a fragrance company and it was in my Instagram feed. And of course, you know how I am with, if it's Instagram, it's like, ooh, what's that? Let me see, let me buy. And apparently this company claims that they will find your signature scent after you take a quiz. And let's see here, they're all perfumes. Each one of our fragrances has been created by expert perfumers. Um, they're all manufactured in the USA, which is nice. Paraben, phthalate, and dye-free are not tested on animals. Um, each fragrance is just a number, so it's like N551, so on and so on. So you answer this quiz, and they send you four of them to try out, and they're supposedly, it says, a 90% success rate of finding real people like me a fragrance they love, which... I I have doubts, but we're going to open it up, see what we got, see what they sent over, and figure out if any of these are right for me. So this is $24.99 for include shipping for this set, and then they give you a $25 credit towards the um a, a purchase of a full size scent or whatever their yeah whatever their size is they have a bunch of advice on how to utilize them spray on to moisturize skin fragrance loves moisture go beyond the pulse points don't rub as it breaks down your fragrance try each fragrance a few times Try each fragrance a few times. <laughs> fragrance evolves as they try down. Sorry. We're all amateurs here. Don't be afraid to layer fragrances together. Sometimes two is better than one. Well, yes, of course. We all we all do that. So I'm intrigued. Um, so they sent me N345, N841, N441, N866. Um, these were horrible. I'm just not thrilled. So, you know, they, they say that they're made in the USA. They're cruelty-free. They have beauty standards. They're planet-minded. They're genderless scents. I don't even know if I want to use my credit on anything. Because these three, these four samples sucked. I wonder if I can get more samples to try other ones out and just say, hey, you don't know what you're talking about. Let me try some other ones and maybe be able to use those 25 bucks on some, uh, one of their uh, trial sizes. But, you know, 27 whatever dollars for a trial size seems, I don't know. It just, I mean, I've, like, 
you've seen I've, I've reviewed House of Siage stuff and that, that stuff's, you know, 300 bucks a bottle practically. And there have been hit and misses in that. And for the, but for the most part, they've been mostly hits. And I've gotten some Dior ones and some I've gotten in samples and those have been hit and miss as well. But this was rather disappointing. It seems that that happens a lot with my uh, Instagram pics. I should be a little bit more um, selective in what I click on. <laughs> Maybe I'd be a little bit more happy. Oh, look at how gray and old I'm getting. Look, so different. <laughs> anyway, um, we'll see what else is going to go on this month. Just thought I'd come in and chat for a little bit. Talk to you later. So it's my half day at work Friday and that's when I typically do like house cleaning stuff and chores and I'm incredibly excited because I got my new combo wet dry back thing. I know it, this is luxury for me. I'm sorry. This is luxury. It was quite a splurge. It was several hundred dollars. Actually, yeah, three, $300 for this, which is, you know, not cheap. There's cheaper versions um, on the market. I think you can get like a shark version and a um, some off brand at Walmart I've seen, but this is the Bissell um, version. And I saw Till Vacuum Do Us Part um, watching one of her vlogs um, use it, and I just really was impressed. So, this is the vac here. This is do I have the model number on there? I don't. It is the Crosswave Pet um, Wet Dry Vac. And it will not only wet dry vac floors, it will do area rugs. Hi, Dolly. So I am going to try that out today and see if we get anything um, useful out of it because I bought this ruggable rug and while I love it, uh, we've already washed it twice and it's a pain in the ass to take up. So this is an eight by 10. I'm not going to take the whole shot of the, the house, but an eight by 10. And, um, yeah, it's a pain in the patootie to, to get up. So I am, I pulled up all the other rugs that we have. So I'm going to wet dry the floors in here and refresh this area rug and then I have an area rug in my bedroom or my office back in the um, back right corner there so I'm going to do those and see how this works out and here I took up we had an area rug here and you can kind of see the outline um, very faintly in there of where we had the area rug so wanting to do the floors there's Pickles potty pad over there, and then they're out in the backyard doing their thing in the area. So I'm just gonna do the normal laminate here. We have the um, vinyl plank floor right where that split is, right there where the table is, um, which I'll do tomorrow. But today I'm gonna work on just the main house wood floor that is basically throughout the entire main part of the house and the bedroom. So I'll just do a quick cursory um, scrub on some of the other floors, but mostly this room and the area rugs and see how it works out. And excuse the mess, we're redecorating. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, yeah, say good morning. Hi. <laughs> we're about to head out to the Sassy Onion. <laughs> Get sassy to have some brunch and then run some errands so Sunday we'll, brunch we'll see if it's gonna be delicious or not
We've sassy onion. Yep. Was it sassy? It was, yeah. It was filling. It was substantial. It was substantial. I brought home part of mine. <laughs> Although they overcooked your eggs. Well, I don't know. You said it was ideal for you. I like I like uh, when I get the Benedict, when I get poached eggs, I like the yolks to run all over everything and be part of the sauce. But other people have different preferences. Some people like the yolks hard, like you. I'm a over, I'm a cooked egg kind of person, so. But my omelet was fabulous. Toast was good. I should have gone for a sweet, because I was kind of peckish for a sweet. So, kind of. I got a delicious fruit cup of uh, uh, a sliced up strawberry, some pineapple yeah. chunks, and some blueberries. But good brunch, very filling. Yep. Go to sleep now. Good afternoon. Well, you don't know what time it is. <laughs> it could be 7 a.m. for all you know, but given the sun out in the sky, you can probably guess. It is um, end of April, last weekend in April actually, and I'm getting the vlog ready to, to go up. But yeah, we went from winter to summer in record time. It's gonna be 80 in the in the upper 80s today and I think mid 70s upper 70s the last yeah tomorrow so yeah really really warm I brought out my Chanel Chanel glasses to check things out and the ladies the pugs are actually in love with the grass so they're out here sunning themselves tanning i'm trying to figure out how to clean up this yard a little bit and get a little bit of a patio going on out here so we can spend some time but i'm a little concerned with this uh april heat wave how our summer is going to to be i don't think i'm going to do any actual garden garden no vegetables this year i think I'm gonna take a year to figure out where all of our sun and everything hits in here and yeah, just figure things out. So we'll see how the rest of spring turns out. Just gotta clean up the yard a little bit, go get some flowers to put in the planters and hopefully have things shaped up a little bit. But hope you guys had a good April. We'll talk to you in May.